Staley, NBC Sports, oh, hi. Bay Area. Bay Area. This is California, I'm sure. George, I have a question for you from myself. Stop laughing, please. You're, you're so Take dramatic. me serious. I think you're too dramatic. You are now in your fifth year. You are a veteran on the team. Mm -hmm. You are a leader on this football team. Mm -hmm. You have a quarterback that was drafted third overall. We have a quarterback that took us to the Super Bowl two years ago. Mm -hmm. A lot of off-season training camp storylines for you as a leader and a veteran to think about. Now I say all that to ask you this. Why am I your favorite team? Why? Well, you told me to ignore the noise and ignore the media. So it's kind of what I got out of you the whole entire time you are here. That's about it. Yeah. That the only thing that I imparted on you was what you just said. No, you got a couple good. I will tell you that I am very hurt. You should be. And you're kind of like a snake in the grass right now, man. I well don't appreciate that comment. <laughs> um, okay, let's transition. Transition. Yeah. Week one, we have. There we go. We have Detroit Lions. Got to focus on the Raiders right now. We have Detroit Lions week okay. one. Yeah. A little bit, might I say, close to. The homeland. It is. A little toboggan weather, maybe. Oh, hey there. Hi, oh, how hey you there. Doing? Hi there. How you doing there? <laughs> Me and George. Well, I'll get your stock Jimmy G's out. chin line. Bring that back a little bit. You come to the sideline at all? Oh, yeah, maybe. I love that. Yeah, I'll be there. That's all I got, man. Wow. Just happy to do the announcement. All right, see you guys. Happy to be here. <laughs> and now we'll open it up to uh, questions from everybody else. That was electric. <laughs> wow. Yeah, but I have to work on my talking volume. Volume, I mean, you started a little bit dramatic. Little, I can give you some tips though. Yeah, what do you got for me? If you were to give uh, me a tip, what would it be? Just smile more, maybe show your eyes. See, now I'm lost in your eyes and I'll answer any question you got for me. Wow. Can't look away. Anyone else? Somebody? <laughs> Please? Anybody? I'm not looking away. I'm not. Can I just get a question? Go ahead. You I lost. Away. I just lost. I lost. Oh, excuse me. No one else? I got a question. Thank you. Wow. Oh. You got to go against Nick Bosa and practice a couple times in pass blocking yesterday. I don't know if you did today. Yeah. How's he look? What's he like? Nick Bosa's Nick Bosa. He's uh, playing at a high level. Um, physical, fast, uh, kind of like water, just finds the path least resistance, just like Joey. Uh, Nick's got a little bit better leverage just because he's a little shorter, uh, but the power he's got, and just kind of like the, he's just kind of savvy too. And so I know he's happy to be back, and I know that he's feeling great. So, I mean, he just brings a new energy to our defense too, because when Nick Bosa's is on the field, you got to kind of put a lot of attention on him, and it allows, it opens up a lot of things for our defense. George, if I may ask you about seeing Joe, what's going to be the toughest part about trying to answer a serious question from him when he actually got to has those questions for you. I just want to hug him. That's all it is. I don't know if I can answer questions. I'll like whisper them into his ear, I guess. I don't think we've actually hugged since I've retired, so this might be I've hugged you twice. Do you want to remember it? It was not a memorable hug. Wow. That's harsh. Do you want to hug now? I'll meet you halfway. Yeah? Okay. Ah, I'm gonna say that. I know I'm fat right now. Wow. We're not going to get a lot of done with Joe Staley at media <laughs> stuff, guys. George, uh, you, you said some advice uh, that Joe gave you early was ignore the outside noise and yeah. some of the media stuff. Have you had to let Trey know that, given you know just the context of his camp with Jimmy and not knowing who's going to start week one? I mean, I, uh, Trey's a smart kid. He's 21. Um, I think he's been in the national spotlight for a while now. I think he understands whatever, you know, people say on Twitter, Instagram, Sports Center, the, the whole shebang. I mean, it's just people talking, and all that really matters is what you put on the field. And so, whether that's for the team, whether that's for people watching, he just knows he has to play at a high level, just like all of us. What's an adjust the adjustment like for a skilled player when the quarterbacks are rotating and, and they're probably with different play calls and different maybe versions of the offense against the field? I mean, there's definitely different stuff, but at the end of the day, I mean, I just got to do my job. Um, you know, they install the plays, and whether it's for one quarterback or the other, um, you just got to get it done, and you got to do it at a high level. 
I know uh, there's definitely, like I said, it's different. So we have a little bit of, you know, a couple of MAs here and there, guys, you know, just figured it out. But we just, you know, things that we got to continue to practice at and continue to get better at and um, you know, just get the job done, honestly. Is it just the different cadence and voice that just as a player is? That is different, I will tell you that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cadences are definitely different. Um, Trey's definitely learning those a lot. Um, but. Uh, he's getting better at him. He's de it's a lot different than he was uh, day one. He's come a long way with that stuff, and that's just something you just got to continue to get reps at, get reps at, get reps at, so you're comfortable with them. Because when quarterbacks are thinking about a million things before the snap, and whether it's motions, whether it's hey the defense is rotating, I got to can the play to a different play. Oh wait, what's the cadence? There's a lot of things going on. It just takes a lot of reps. How difficult was that for you guys to switch to the down? Ah, it is what it is. I mean, uh, not that difficult. Um, it's definitely you know it's different. But at the end of the day, like I said, I'm a professional football player, and I just got to go out there and make plays and do whatever Coach Shanahan calls. In terms of personality, he seems, Trey, seems pretty buttoned up when he's talking in front of us. Do you, do you try to kind of loosen him up and, and get, get, some, get him to have some fun uh, in the locker room out there? I'm pretty sure if someone asked me that exact same question like two weeks ago, and yeah. my answer will be the same. Trey might be buttoned up with you, but he's definitely a 21 year old in front of us. You know, he's, he's professional, he handles all of this stuff, but he likes to have a good time, and he's definitely 21. Anything else? What is the biggest indication that he's 21? What does he do? Oh, he finds a lot of the jokes that I find funny, he's very funny. Like, I find these jokes funny, so he finds them funny, and I'm like a 13 year old, so he's a little immature just like me. So we connect pretty well. Just like Joe is 14 at heart. I'll you that too. You did. You did. Okay. Right. Thanks, guys.